follow the path, see what's up. Oh! What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Guava Juice. Today, I'm playing a game called Gone in November. Um, when I opened this game up, this message came out of nowhere. It says, this game deals with depression issues and may contain implicit handling of suicide. So, it, I already know it's going to be a really tough video. It's going to be very much emotional video. Because when I was reading the description for this game, this is what it said. Basically, we just came back from a doctor's visit for the very last time. And the doctor said that I only have three days to live. And what I am about to go through right now in this game is like fragments of memories that I dealt with my past. So, yes, just warning you guys, it may um, trigger some emotions that you may like or may hate. So, I, we're about to find out together. So, let's do this. Oh my gosh, the music. The music is so... I can already say it's going to be a sad, sad video. So, prepare for tears, maybe. I'm not going to cry, though. It says, uh, forget in progress. Oh gosh, let's, let's do this. Memory fragment. I can only afford this last batch of medicine just to survive for a few more days. Doctor sent me home. With my current condition, I can only live for a few more days at best. I've used up all my money buying countless amounts of medicine just to discover that I really don't do anything. No one knows about it. They don't know what it is a verb. I've committed enough sins already. I wonder what she's doing right now. Since the incident, we haven't been seeing each other for so long. I really do miss her. Ah, this is too fast. Hold on. I really do everything just to talk to her one more time. Just one more time. Maybe she still remembers me. Maybe, maybe not. If she does, that's okay. I will hold her hands first like the old times. Oh, he used to be in love with someone. Oh, he lost her, I guess. Oh, there you go. It's happy music. All right. Okay. I'm dealing with this. Oh, 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 oh! Here we are, we're Caitlin. Yeah, I was Albert Einstein, MC, MC Square, cause you, MC Gravity Square. Enjoy the happy music because I know for sure that's gonna change. That for sure is going to change. Hey, it's what I'm alone. See, it's happy for now, at least. Okay, what do I do? Uh oh, hello. I'm like interacting with everything. Here's the toilet sitting on the toilet. Do I have to poop right now? No? What is that? Alright, cool. This is a nice little house. I wonder where I live. Looks like I live in the city. Alright. What is this? Bedroom? You are everything that is left. Are you happy now? Um, yeah. What is this? What is this? Um, uh, medical history. Wow, I did chemotherapy. I guess I have, like, cancer? By any- I don't know. That's- that's insane. All right, let me turn off this music. It's getting too loud. There you go. I should have turned that off earlier. Now there's a phone call. This is where it gets serious, guys. This is where it gets serious. Okay, where's the phone? It's bad news. Where's it coming from? Hello? Oh, is that, is that the phone? Hello? Uh-oh. Dot, 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 dot. Yes, it's me. Hello? <laughs> Adele, is that you? Uh, dot, 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 too many dots, dude. I, I, I know, I know. Yes, I will also consider that option. Uh, this is confusing. Yes, I, I know. Thank you. I appreciate your effort, thought, though. Okay. Uh, they want me to buy more pills so they can make me, make extra cash they can with a dying patient. They also refuse to provide any other treatment because I cannot afford it. You know what? Doctors are funny. Giving all kinds of medicine to tell you this is going to fix your problems. Not our problems. You can hardly have another choice than being extremely greedy, taking whatever you can for your survival without giving a fly. That's how the world works. So apparently this guy's saying that the world is very greedy. Um, which is true. Everyone just... I, I feel like everyone uses one another nowadays, which is pretty bad. Just It's, it's just like... For their own gain, like, what is the world? Okay, hold on. Uh, let's open this door. Anything here? Okay, this is nice. This is nice little view. This is nice little view here. This is this is getting a little get a little scary here. Anything here? Oh, oh, who puts a washer? There's a washer outside. Uh oh, hello. All right, cool. I gotta wash my clothes. Uh, am I in Japan? This is definitely Japan, dude. Like, there's, uh, some anime up there. 
All right. This is uh, getting interesting. Here's a laptop. Let's see if this laptop does anything. Here we go. Who does? Who rotates like that before sitting down? Come on, dude. Uh, let's do messaging. Welcome to Sky. <laughs> Sky. Click the button below. Log in. Logging you in. This should take only a few. S why? Why is the words like that? So start by clicking a contact on the left side bar, then send. Let's do Rudy. Rudy, what's up, dog? Send. Can I type? I can't do anything. All right. Send. Okay, this is not working. Then click send. All right, nothing's working. I can't send anything. All right. That's all I could do. I couldn't do anything else. I, I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. Can I turn on the lights at least? It's pretty dark here, dude. All right. This is a... Uh, Uh-oh. I won't be going anywhere if you don't tell me what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Like, what? What do you have? Like, what's? Wh why? Why do you only have three days to live? This is how it feels to have three days to live. I guess the flowers are dying. This is pretty sad. I'm sorry for everyone who's watching. That's like, what is going on? Why is this game sad? I'm 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 pretty confused as well. So I'm just gonna keep walking around and see what happens. I guess. So going back downstairs. Um, I guess we we should have just left the front door first, right? Can I do that already or no? Nah? Oh, nope, I can't escape. Ah, uh, does that does that mean anything? That means I'm trapped in my own house. Is that is that a message or something? All right, let's do uh what is this? I'm, I'm clicking everything I can. I don't know, I honestly don't know what to do. TV is closed. That's closed. Oh, I see. I see. If I press tab on the keyboard, it gives me this thing. So, I have to do all this first before um I got it. I got it. So, let's take pain pills in the kitchen wherever that is where's the kitchen this is this is the kitchen right oh there it is these pills are supposed to help me with the pain there you go done with that um take care of cactus i think i did that one in the kitchen one in the first full of bedroom and one in the backyard so let's take care of this there you go i think i didn't okay um activate washing machine i did that already um okay message her using laptop in the okay that's what i was supposed to do with the laptop got it message all right uh uh is it this one message sent last scene oh okay do i s nope i can't send here I, I guess the unidentified thing i was supposed to send a message to all right i did that let's go back out shut down I gotta water the cactus in the back, and then it says, go to sleep using the floor's bedroom. Okay, where's the cactus? There you go, cactus. There you go. I think I'm good. Uh, I think that I did all of that. So let's, um, I guess let's go to sleep now. There you go. Good night, everybody. There you go. Going to sleep. Wonder what's gonna happen. Memory fragment. This is cactus pot. Take your place when you're not there. At least I have something that will always be my side to remind me of you. What? All right, second day. All right, what, what do I do today? Grab a knife in the kitchen and decide what to do with it. That doesn't sound good at all. Like, use a knife to, like, cook food, dude. Just, like, use it to... Oh, that's blocked off. Oh, that's blocked off. What the heck? What? What are these pictures? Is this fish? This looks like a fish. What? Okay, someone definitely... Who's pranking me? Who's pranking me, FoozyTube? Is that you? Is that who you did? You put all these cactuses in my house. Oh, okay, let's let's keep going. Well, so okay, this is not this is not funny anymore. That that would be a really funny prank though. The pull with someone just get multiple pictures and just like put it all over, like the house. But anyways, here's the knife. Let's uh, grab this. Uh, grab, grab. Uh oh. What? Do I uh? Do I sit here? Consumed an excess amount of pain pills. All right. I was supposed to save them since it was the last batch of medicine from the doctor. Oh, she called midnight. She said that they didn't allow her to go out. That if she was released, she would never come back. But that was everything. Wait, what? I am very confused right now in this current situation of moment in time. Uh, I will just keep walking until I find something. Oh, my! <laughs> 
<laughs> that scared me, bro. I did not. I was expecting a jump scare. Everyone has their comfort zone, which can only be experienced by sleeping. I too have my own comfort zone. Every day I wake up, open my eyes, and all of a sudden, the reality nightmare kicks in and abruptly slaps me in the face. I have no other choice but to deal with it. It is horrible. This is why I have the tendency of overdosing, like nearly every day. It's strange. I haven't died yet. This is so sad. So this guy hates reality. So he takes pills just to like get away from it. W Whoa. What's going on now? Am I, am I, um, this is what happens when you overdose guys. This is what you see. That's why you don't overdose. Do not do guys. It's it, don't. This is, this is, it's not worth it. I promise it's not. Okay. I, I, let's, this is, this is very trippy, very trippy. All right. Let's keep going and see. Hey, you! Come over here and help me standing up. But mom said I shouldn't get close to strangers. But you are the only one walking around this park. I have a leg malformation. But that was exactly the reason crutches were invented. Jeez, just help me already. You boys are always so annoying every time. So, do I... Uh-oh. What is going on here? How many times... I've told you that self-harming is very idiotic thing. Oh my gosh. But it helps me forget things temporarily. Guys, okay, if you guys are dealing with depression, I know it can be um hard to take. Um I'm getting get, I'm just getting emotional just reading this. I just want to let you guys know you, you you're not alone for real. There are friends and family who are there just to support you and help you bring you back up to your feet, you know? It's like it's 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 terrible. It's a terrible thing, and um, I just want to let you know things will only get better because here I'll tell you the story. All right, I pretty I haven't said the story, but I I just want I I just want to tell you this, okay? So when I moved here to Los Angeles, um, from North Carolina, that was like two years ago. I made I moved all the way to Los Angeles, and I was very sad. I was like literally I was I was kind of depressed because like I just felt alone. I felt like my family and friends were just so far away. I felt like the, the LA lifestyle was horrible. It literally was draining me. I was just stuck in my room. Just um, I don't even know what I was doing. I was I felt really lost and I was like really sad. And then I I, I don't uh, just thinking about it just like brings back like sad memories. Just like I just felt alone, you know, at that specific time. I honestly didn't know what to do and uh, luckily um, my friend Will moved in you guys know him yellow Paco he moved in and it, uh, it just made it a little better like more comforting just knowing someone was there for you and someone relatable was just uh... all right let me read this I'll, I'll tell you after this I'll just tell you after the, the video so hang on now you're even heavier than before it's burden carry on my back all the way to school are you mocking my weight nope just want to say I'm not currently eligible for insurance yet I don't want to sit in a wheelchair. It's so frustrating. So this is the, I guess the um, the fragments of memories this guy has. This is currently a, a schoolboy now, walking up the ladder. That means I'm getting older, and uh, yeah, it, I feel like it's getting. I'm walking slower and slower each time I get to this door. All right, change the pace. It's not dark anymore. I haven't really settled in the new place yet. Everything is just so strange. Um, the people, the culture, the traffic, the language, this is exactly what I just said. I just can't, can't get used to it. Anyways, it's just one more week away before school starts. I get, oh, I hate you. I hate you for not being right here right now. I hate who, it must be really late there. What the? Take care and don't break the promise, okay? I'll be here waiting for you. Oh, I think he is dealing with a long distance relationship because as you saw, kind of feel like we were in Japan back in the house I guess he moved here for school or something maybe it's simple just do this and this and this and this and you will be fine trust me all right this is kind of very emotional now great now you are just wasting all of these years trapping yourself in the endless cycle of pain you are selfish no you're not um it's not pain it's pleasure it's not anything Pain is not pleasure at all. Pain is, it just hurts. If you don't feel hurt, if it hurts others seeing you hurt. You don't understand, dude. I'm getting, this is, this, come on, dog. 
There is always a choice. Whoever wrote this must have absolutely no idea what he is talking about. That everyone is different from one another. That every perspective is unique and should be respected. Pathetic. There is not always a choice. I just do whatever I can. Ah, oh, jeez. This is kind of emotional now, man. I can't. It's selfish to stubbornly keep her by my side. But also, difference... But also no difference if I let her go. I'm still selfish either way. Oh, man. See, the thing about relationships is you really got to balance it. You can't be jealous at all. Because jealousy is like, it's the killer of everything. Because if you're, once you're jealous, it's just like, it's, it's, it's a bad trait to have. I mean, I've gotten jealous. I'm not perfect. But I'm just saying jealousy is really bad. It destroys a lot of things. So just, I guess another like, you know, advice for a relationship. I'm not, I'm not the pro at relationships, but I just know jealousy kills things. Oh, look at this. Now we're in the room filled with, uh, whoa, five years. Five years is just too overwhelming. I guess that's how far distance is too much. Especially this stage of life when the majority of people just want a quick free ride without thinking much. What? Isn't people were born to pay their debts you are selfish is that what you really want you only care about yourself here this is what whoa this is where people usually fall it's hard to find reason to keep us both stay whoa now i'm in the white room all right there was a ladder here no one can predict the future but you still did you booked the ticket already yeah but i had to write it hide it from my parents they won't ever let me travel that far what about you I'm sure everyone's working to meet the deadline. It's funny how most people only care about making money, but it'll be too late before they realize everything has to fall in pieces. Places, sorry. Aren't we all puppets in the modern world? Is that what is pulling their strings? It's tearing us apart. The closer we are to each other, the more lonely we feel. No, dog, don't say that. Okay, there's an iPhone. A phone? Why is there a phone? I can't, I can't pick it up. I just kind of keep moving. So this guy's dealing with like, I guess loneliness with his depression and his depression is making him feel like sad because I guess they moved far away and they're still together and it's making it really hard on him and them too. Okay, this is not this is not good. I'm walking forward, but it feels like I'm not going anywhere. Oh, wait, never mind. I am going somewhere. Here's a light post. Um, yeah, are you thinking about something? Hmm. No, why? Well, most people can't afford risks their lives for someone like me. But who knows? There's always... Excuse me. There's always a fitting piece for you in this world. Someone who can heal your wounds, ignore your lives with your defeats. You just have to wait patiently. So chin up. Life's too short to be sad. You have me now. You ha who? You have what now? A sandwich? Is this a sandwich? Oh, sweets. I can't eat sweets. You know that. Oh, come on. I made all these myself. Are you going to let me eat them or what? You have to be healthy like me. Besides, cuddling a thin person is war isn't, isn't warm and comfortable at all. I would eat this right now. I'm kind of hungry. Okay. This guy is sad because of depression. Because of his, uh, his girlfriend. Or boyfriend. Or girlfriend. Or boyfriend. All right. Stairs. We're going back up. Even though we fell... I guess this is where he goes up. Are you afraid of heights? Why? We've gone all we've gone all the way this far, and I don't want you to fall. It, it, it's going to hurt. Wait, I can't even climb the ladder. All right, I'm just gonna just keep going forward. See what's in the end of this path. Man, this is why you don't overdose on pills, everyone. Because this is what's gonna happen when you overdose on pills. You're just uh in this weird moment. Okay, now uh oh. There's a door. Oh, wake up. Okay, well, that didn't wake me up. The music is back, though. I'm afraid with her current condition, it's, there's hardly any treatment methods available. The expenses are high, and the success rate is something that can never be relied of any. Going overseas could help, but the treatment expenses have to be... Wait, so his girlfriend is dying? Wait a second. Are you one of those cold-blooded that who isn't afraid of dumping your loved one if something got bad? But something bad happened to them. Um, hello. What were you thinking? Well, you're are, are you nuts or what? Do you have any idea how hard 
and wasting it is love a diseased person you will miss out on a lot of opportunities out there she will only hamper your progress you fool just keep moving don't listen to me oh my gosh since you're my best friend let me put this in play words stop whatever you're doing you know what it is what just stop don't burn your youth and precious time on her oh i i'm, I'm getting i'm understanding this now are you afraid of falling? It's going to hurt. Oh my gosh. I get it. I am not dying. My loved one is dying. And they're telling me if it's a good idea to love someone who is deceased. Of course it is. Because it's true love. No matter what. It's like unconditional love. Cactuses are harmless. Aren't they? So I'm sad because my girlfriend's dying? Is that what's going on? Um, relax. I'm gonna go easy on this. It's not like I'm blaming everything on you. What is going on, dude? In the end, you can't always choose what to keep. You can only choose how you let it go. What? That's so sad. That's what they usually say. Even though I really love her, and I'm sure she'd do the same. Oh, but... Can she also feel it? That we gradually... That we are gradually fading away? The distance... I'm running out of patience. I just want to be with you right now. I guess their long distance relationship, the girl's dying. I think that's what's going on. I may, I, I may be completely wrong, but that's what I'm picking up. Look at these people. They're clueless about you and your problems. Like they care. It's not your business anyways. I, I'm not liking these quotes. This is a very sad episode. I'm sorry, everyone. Time. Please don't take her away. Okay, she's definitely dying. A piece of cake, they said. If I were you, they said. It's always easier for them to judge people from their perspective. And yet, they still chime in their opinions, opinions like they know everything. Okay. Nobody wants me. Nobody wants broken things. That's what she's saying? And you're here standing between a mess created by people. Ignorance and your negativism. So I'm a selfish guy, but I still want her? I don't get it. What do you mean? You were diagnosed with HIV? No. That's not the reason. You're lying, aren't you? You're planning to dump me. You disgusting monster. Oh my gosh, she's Okay, that's that that that's a that's a plot twist. He's uh diagnosed with HIV. Nobody can predict the future. Whoa. Alright, I'm going in. Whoa. Alright, back in the street lights. Follow the path. See what's up. Oh, oh! oh shoot! Yo, that scared me, legit. Did I die? Why are you still here? I'm not, it's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's not their fault. Can you see what you, oh, too many reading. You guys can read this. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I have two doors. It says kill myself or move on. Obviously the question or the answer is move on. Like, come on, please guys. If you're dealing with the same situation or feeling this way, don't go through that door. It's not even worth it. Like. I'm saying this because I'm serious like you you don't need to go through that door It's the most idiotic thing to do the most like smartest thing to do is move on because you don't know What's there ahead of you if you think there's nothing in front of you or ahead of you? It's gonna come eventually you don't you probably don't see it now, but it's gonna come guys, okay? Sorry, I'm just into this game like why would they put this here? It's so dumb. Let's go here. Oh my goodness Wow I don't know. I, just, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm into this game right now. All right. Someone, someone's in the door. I'm awake now. Uh oh, I gotta go downstairs. Someone's definitely here. Uh oh. I, I, I don't know if I, it's a ghost. This is a ghost. Hello. Hello. Um, jump scare? Oh dear. Huh. Alright, that was it. Alright. Okay, that was very interesting. That was, um, that was completely... I don't know what to say. I'm still kind of confused what the storyline is. I guess, um... Uh, I guess the girlfriend moved away or she's dying or I'm dying. I don't, I'm not sure but the real the, the real thing here is the topic of depression and um, 
I guess like suicidal thoughts. If you guys are thinking that way, please, please. I just want to let you know there are people there who can really help you out. You know, there are a lot of people who can really like love you for who you are and love you for just yourself, being yourself. So please, um, if you're feeling really down, always there's always someone there for you. Look for your friends or your family members. Um, if you don't have family members, probably like a dog or a pet. They they will love you unconditionally. And if it gets even worse, just, um, please go seek help. Uh, this, this topic is very, very sensitive because it happens, okay? I, I, there's people watching this right now that have this feeling. And I just want to let you know that it will get better. It will get better, I promise. Like I was saying earlier, I was very depressed when I first moved to like LA because I felt alone. Like I, the lifestyle here was extremely different. I feel like everyone is like all into themselves or whatever. And you know me, I'm just a really chill person, really, you know, just laid back guy. And just seeing um, people around me act like that just really kind of bring, brought me down. Like, yo, what am I doing here? Um, I, I felt trapped, especially like being in Wasabi. Like the only reason why I moved because of Wasabi. And I felt like if I didn't do anything to like, you know, move forward, I'm, I'll be stuck there forever. But eventually, you know, things got better. Um, people came into my life that really helped me out. And uh, like I was saying earlier, you got to move on because you don't know what's there for you. If you think there's nothing for you, there is something for you. Because in my case, there were people who came to my life eventually that made living in Los Angeles a lot better. And uh, I just want to say that because there is happiness in the end. Okay. You just got to find it. Like, I feel like life is like a like it's too cliche it's cliche life's a roller coaster but i'm saying there's gonna be very down parts of life and in order sorry i just burped but in order to get past it you just really gotta keep moving forward because that's just part of resistance resistance will try to tear you down and the only way to get rid of that is to keep moving forward that's all i gotta say um i hope this video wasn't too sad uh, I, I, tr I tried my best giving like a little bit of like, you know, added some light into like my advice. I, hopefully it'll help you guys out as well for those who need it the most. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, stay juicy and uh, just stay happy. Promise things will get better. And uh, see you next time. Bye.